Could you please explain who Fuji Film Diasynth Biotechnologies are, and importantly, what happens behind the walls of your Billingham operations? Fuji Film Diasynth Biotechnologies are a global contract developer and manufacturer of biopharmaceutical products. We help our customers to develop and then manufacture biopharmaceutical products, so healthcare products. Um, and these are sort of cutting edge pharmaceuticals which are really treating a you know, really wide range of conditions around the world for people. So the, the industry is seemingly changing from big pharma to smart pharma. Are you seeing that within your day-to-day -day role? So part of our journey is looking at how a digital future will allow us to do more process development, more biomanufacturing excellence, have an end-to-end -end supply chain, and they're some of the things that we're starting to look at at Fujifilm. But what are your priorities at Fujifilm, and what steps are you taking to continuously improve on your transformation journey? So we generate an incredible amount of data through our process development laboratories, through our manufacturing facilities, and all of the support functions that go around it through our supply chain and, and similar um, groups. So for us, it's really about trying to pull together all of this data to put, produce a coherent picture. At the moment, it's generally islands of excellence and automation and data management, but over time, we're developing strategies that allow us to bring all of these sources of data together to help ultimately deliver better products quicker for our customers. If you look at the way that we're developing processes now, there's more and more high throughput automated equipment that allows us to generate large amounts of data with man minimal manual intervention. So we're getting to a position where we can gather a really good understanding of the manufacturing process at small scale before we transfer it into the manufacturing environment. That not only means that we can make a more robust process, but we can also ensure that all of the quality attributes are maintained. What is the impact of your value chain um, um, of having the flexibility to produce smaller sort of batches and more personalised medicines? So a large part of our business, um, particularly actually in the UK, is around supporting clinical trials. So a lot of the products we manufacture, we are manufacturing a single batch of product for a company who are testing out whether that's an effective medicine. So speed and agility is, that, is absolutely critical for the, the customers because they're looking to get material very quickly to prove it, in a, whether it's successful or not, in a clinical trial. When it comes to commercial supply, we're seeing the, definitely the trend to being much more personalised medicines globally. Now these are very targeted medicines, targeting smaller and smaller patient populations. So we're dealing with a wider range of different products and the need to flexibly respond there is key to maintain you know, continuity of supply for patients. How can you break that down, you know, all of that good things that are happening, you know, so it's, it's understood within your organisation and you're applying all of that within Fujifilm Dyson Biotechnologies? It's really challenging, to be honest. You know, it, it, what we see is that people have areas of expertise and knowledge and they see the value of data to them and they, in the way that they're going to manage their part of the process. Trying to get that linked together across the full business is, is definitely challenging. You know, clearly we have a significant lean program looking at how do we get streamlined workflows through our business, but really it's about making it personal to people. What's the benefit to them and how can they help their colleagues and the patients ultimately by doing something slightly different with the information they have to hand. Can you explain really in broader terms how far Fujifilm are on your digital transformation journey? Yes, yeah, so we're probably still at the beginning of our journey. We're doing a lot of data and information gathering. We've studied our capabilities that we currently have. There are many opportunities in there, um, certainly around the way that our process development handles the data and transfers that through into scale up to manufacturing and how our end-to-end -end supply chain will work. Clearly, as business leaders, we have to set the direction of travel for our digital future and we need to align it with our growth plans and strategies. But the people who are actually doing the experiments in the labs, who are doing the quality stability work that are manufacturing GMP batches, they have a large voice to play because a lot of the issues that they see, the solutions and the revolution of the digital world will help make it more efficient. Well, thank you for your time and uh, wish you all the best on your digital transformation journey. But remember, we're going to transform together. Mm -hmm.